Bluetooth programming, USB-C charging, GMRS, and ham radio in one radio. Introducing the TID Radio TDH8 10 watt handheld transceiver, this time on KMRD Radio Stuff. So in the pack that they sent me, we get the radio itself. Comes with a 2,500 milliamp hour battery. And then it comes with another 2,500 milliamp hour battery. Comes with the charger and your uh, USB whatever to USB-C. So you can charge it up there. Comes with a nice speaker mic that rotates, that's good. That's a nice thing to have there. We get this lovely lanyard that you can uh, wear the radio around your neck if you choose to. We get a belt clip with a wrench and some screws and I, there's some labels in here for something, I don't know. Uh, I have no idea why, maybe battery one, battery two, no clue, but there's some labels in there. We get our stock antenna and then we also get an extended antenna. This is the TID Radio TD771. So a rebranding of the Nagoya 771, I would assume. Uh, and we also get this handsome wrist strap here and a manual that is fairly good at explaining what uh, everything does in here. And we also get a TID Radio support card. Walking around the radio on the top, we have our on, off, and volume. We also have a uh, LED light, not the brightest thing in the world. We've got a little red programmable button and our antenna port that's SMA mail. On the left side, we have our PTT, and then we have two programmable secondary buttons. On the front, we've got a numeric keypad and VFO memory, Bluetooth, and VFO AB. And on the right, we have our uh, port for our headphone jack, like such. And maybe programming. Uh, I didn't get a programming cable with this, but uh, we'll touch on why I didn't get a programming cable with this in a second. And then on the back here, we can see the model number. There's the FCC ID and all that. And the battery affixes in such a way. And you kind of press it in and then that locks it down. Here is our USB-C charging port, and you have an LED that is red when it's charging and green when it is finished charging. And I just discovered what these labels were for. If you wanted to, there's a little uh, indent right there that looks like it fits those labels perfectly. So you can, I guess, maybe put your call sign on there or something. So right off the bat, my very first impressions with this radio are that it is very, very rugged. I mean, you're not gonna you're not gonna break this thing. It's got a nice metal uh, back plate here. Uh, another feature is it also has, if you just push this side button here, actually has FM radio too. So if you're uh, wandering in the desert and you want to listen to some radio, well, there you go. But quite possibly the coolest feature of this radio is if the, you want this to be a ham radio, it'll be a ham radio. If you want this to be a GMRS radio, it'll be a GMRS radio. If you want this to be both, it will do that. And uh, they wanted me to show you at TID Radio. We'll leave aside the legality of this, but let's say I want to turn this into a ham radio. I'm going to hold the PTT and the scan button down while I turn it on. And notice it says in it all for ham. I'm going to hit menu and it is going to turn on as a ham radio. If we want it to be a GMRS radio, we're gonna turn it off, hold down the PTT and the zero button, turn it back on, and it all GMRS. And then we hit the menu button. Welcome. Now, mode. it's GMRS radio. But wait, there's more. If we want it to be both, we hold the PTT and the pound sign down, turn it on, and it says initialize all, hit the menu, and now it is basically just wide open. So the benefit to having all of those different modes is that you can use their app called OD Master, which you can download on the Apple Store or in the Google Play Store, 
and open that up. Do create an account. Give it a fake email, whatever you want, because you, you're going to want to save each of these settings. So for example, we need to go to Bluetooth and turn it on, and it's going to find the radio and connect to it via Bluetooth. Now, we have to select, because I'm on the ham radio version right now, I'm going to select TDH8 ham. And then I can do one of two things. I can read from the radio. It, initially, you want to read from the radio. I've already done that. We can go to Program Settings, and let's go to this RXTX list. And you can see I have TDH8 ham right there. I'll go back for you. That's already saved. So I've saved um, really nothing other than uh, just, just the file, but I've saved a couple of VFOs. So I have 14652. I'll show you how to program this in a second. But if I were to put this into, say, the GMRS mode, go to Programs and Settings, go to RXTS List, there's my TDH8 GMRS settings. And then if we were to have this in the unlocked version, we'd go to, whoops, we'd go to uh, which radio, and then we'd hit the TDH8 unlocked version, go to Programs and Settings, and then go to RXTX List, and we can see I have the TDH8 unlocked saved. So you can save different configurations. Now, the GMRS, uh, if you just have this on GMRS, it's gonna have all your GMRS frequencies, including the repeaters with the offsets and everything. All you need to do is uh, update the CTCSS tones and stuff. Uh, under the unlocked version, you're gonna need to program everything in, okay? So let's just take a look. We'll go to uh, the unlocked version here, and I'll show you around the screen here. So let's go open this wide up. Initialize all, yep. Welcome. There we are. To get you acclimated with the screen here, it's basically gonna have everything you're gonna wanna know. Obviously, here's the frequency. Uh, we don't, there's, there's nothing programmed because it's basically just a wide open radio, but you got your frequency. Right now we're in VFO, there's no channels saved. These little swoosh things are, means it's in dual watch. Uh, the little note thing means the, the voice is on. Go to page 12 and 13 in the manual and familiarize yourself with, with what all these little uh, symbols mean here and that'll help you with uh, the home screen here. And as far as just navigating by hand, you can hit the menu button and here's all of your different things. So if you want to change something, hit the menu again, use the up down arrows to say we want low power. Now we're on low power, hit menu again, and that'll save it. We go through here, maybe we want to turn this beep off, hit menu again, save it. And then let's say we want to turn the voice off, menu, Turn it off, hit menu again to save it, and we can exit out of there. This off, this is basically, uh, if you have a receive CTCSS on, it will say CT if you have a transmit CTCSS. So for example, let's just go 146520 and then go to our CTCSS. Uh, let's put a transmit. CTCSS on. So now we have a transmit CTCSS. I transmit, you see that CT. And then it goes off. Uh, if we have a receive CTCSS, turn that on. Now you can see we have CT for both of them. So that's what that means. So the great thing about this really is the app and, and that you can program this radio completely with your phone. You don't need a computer at all. It's all over Bluetooth. So we're on the unlocked version right now and I'm on the unlocked version on the app. So I'm just going to go, I've already saved a couple things in here. I'm just going to go to programs and settings, RXTX list, and I'm going to click on TDH8 unlocked. So you can see at the top under RX frequency and TX frequency, I already have a repeater stored in here and I named it at the bottom here. You can see under name. Hville for Huntsville. And then under function, here's where you can change like your A and your B band. So I have 14652 if we're under VFO A. And I have, uh, let's do uh, 446.000 for VFO B. We can hit update to save that. Very easy. And then we can just write it to the radio. Now we're programming all that stuff to the radio over Bluetooth, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria, it's just awesome. So in that setting, I actually had a couple things saved under channel one was the Huntsville repeater. Channel two, I saved just a, a, a GMRS channel one. 
and on channel three, I saved GMRS 23, which is a repeater channel. And notice that I put in the offset. So we have uh, 462 as the receive frequency and 467 as the offset frequency. All that transferred over here, we can see 146860 is the Huntsville repeater. And then we have 4625625 for GMRS1. And then we have GMRS23 and I key up. Notice we have that, that uh, offset there. So very, very cool. But let's say maybe we just want to use this as a GMRS radio. We can go ahead and turn this off. Uh, PTT and zero, turn it on to GMRS, hit menu to initialize that. And now the great thing when you're in GMRS mode, you still have a VFO, so you can still listen to anything, but you can't key up. It's locked down to the GMRS frequencies. Even if you save things in VFO, even if they're uh, GMRS frequencies, you will not be able to transmit under VFO. But if we go back to channel mode, there you can see now we're transmitting. And it has all of the uh, different frequencies. So let's go back to channel 23. There is a repeater frequency, key up, you get the offset. And if you go all the way up, let's go down actually, you still have, uh, it programs the NOAA frequencies in here as well. So that's pretty cool to have. And then again on the uh, app, we just connect the Bluetooth. This time we need to select the TDH8 GMRS version. And again, I already have it uh, uh, a, a saved file here, so we can go to RX list. Now we have the GMRS version. This is why you want to save, uh, you want to have a login for this because you won't be able to save any of this stuff otherwise. So here is where uh, you can you can change anything if you want. If you go to so let's say channel 23, we'll just keep with that. Maybe we have a, uh, a CTCSS on there. So we're gonna hit, let me go back, we're gonna hit this encode button and maybe we have a CTCSS of 100. And here we can name this, uh, let's just name this Huntsville. Sure, why not? Good enough. And then hit update, save it to GMRS. And then we can write this. And now if we go to channel 23, we can see this will change to CT. Now it's putting out that 100 uh, CT CSS tone. So very, very easy. And now let's say we wanna just make this a ham radio. We can hold the PTT, hold the scan button down, turn it on and initialize ham. Wait for it to boot up, Welcome. done and done. And now that we're in ham mode, we can go back to connect to Bluetooth. Turn that back on. And now because we're on ham, we need to go back to the radio, change it to TDH8 ham. And initially, again, you want to read it from the radio to create your first save file, but I've already done that. So we're going to go to program and setting and I'm going to go to my save list. Now we can see TDH8 ham. And the only thing I've saved on here so far was just under function. I've saved uh, the 14652 on frequency A and 446 on frequency B. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go back to program and settings, RXTX list, TDH8 ham. And let's say we want to program a repeater. So I'm on channel one and let's say our frequency is 146.860 and our receive frequency is 146.260. And this repeater has a uh, DCS tone. So we just need to scroll all the way down until we get the digital tones. And we're looking for 631 for this particular repeater. We'll leave our transmit power on high, wide. Uh, we can don't really need to mess with any of that stuff. We'll name this Huntsville. Good enough. Update, because I want to save this and we'll save this to that file, hit confirm. And then we'll go ahead and write that to the radio. And that is writing right now. Then it reboots. We go to channel mode, check channel one. There's 146860, we can hit VFO again. Uh, looks like the name didn't save, why not? Because on here, we need to change that from frequency to name. I like to see my name, so I'll change A and B to name. And let's go ahead and update that, save it, and let's go ahead and write it one more time. And now we should see, we go to channel two, there we are, Huntsville. For some reason, you gotta hit the VFO twice. You have two channels and then go to VFO. I'm not sure why that is, but 
there we are, it worked. And you can see the DCS, so very, very awesome, very cool. Uh, let's check out this function setting real quick. So here's where you'd adjust all of your uh, settings here. So for like FM, you wanna change uh, whatever your FM presets are for FM radio. You've got your DTMF, squelch levels. These are just kind of default settings. Your light setting, how long you want that to be on continuous, five seconds, 10 seconds, etc. cetera. Uh, voice prompt, let's go ahead and turn that off. And let's see, so you your save percentage, uh, scan reverse, whatever that is, I'm not sure. Priority, you can set a priority channel. Uh, Roger beep, the beep will turn that off. Here's where you can, uh, your short key top. So I wanna make the short key top, this, so this top button here, if I just short press it, I wanna have that on the weather. That way I can just get the weather just by pushing that. Or I can, you can, but you can customize all, customize all these. So here's a uh, short key uh, PF1, which is programmable function key one and programmable function key two. So you can just change these to whatever you want them to be, which is awesome. Program on message, I don't know what that is. Um, I haven't found a way to actually enter in a message to like put your call sign when it turns on instead of saying TID radio. Here's your Vox gain, your Vox delay, uh, your TDR, which is transmit dual receive, so dual watch. It's not two receivers in one, but it will watch uh, both uh, VFOs or both channels, if you will. BL is busy channel lockout, so if one channel is transmitting, if you're receiving on channel A and then channel B comes in, uh, they won't interfere with one another or something like, or no, it won't let you transmit uh, while it's receiving. That's what it does. Sync, I have no idea what does. And then channel display, you can display either the frequency or the name. You've got your repeater, RPST is repeater squelch tail elimination. So you can turn that on and then here's where you can change your mic gain. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, and again, save everything and write it because I want to save all those different changes we made. And now it's done, so that's it. So let's see how this thing sounds now. This is a test of the receive audio for the TID Radio TDH8 on GMRS. This is WRQD 567 12345 54321. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Check two, check two, sibilance, sibilance. This is a test of the transmit audio for the TID Radio TDH8 on GMRS. This is WRQD 567 12345 54321. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Check two, check two, sibilance, sibilance. So how cool is that? Two radios, really three if you open it wide open. Uh, three radios in one, all Bluetooth program. Well, I love it. I love the app. I love the radio. It's durable. Uh, the package that TID Radio sent me goes for about 90 bucks. I'll leave an affiliate link in the description for that. And uh, if you haven't already, hit the like, share, and subscribe button. We'll see you again on another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.